Hey guys, uh, this week we're going to be looking at density of water, of salt water versus fresh water. So um, this will help you answer your questions that are on the document that you're going to turn in. Um, probably you've done this before at home, but if you haven't, this will be very helpful. So what we're going to use is salt water to represent salt water. Um, and we're actually going to use oil to represent fresh water. So in your answers, you can either say the answer is oil or fresh water, but this is going to represent fresh water. Um, this also has to do with something we've done before. Uh, if we think about water, it's going to act just like air. It's just going to act like molten rock because molten rock is a liquid. So all of these things happen together. It just happens a little quicker with water than it would with rock that's hot. Um, and it's going to happen much faster with air than it's going to happen with water. So we have salt water here already. Salt water has a particular density. We have fresh water here that has another density. So what I want you guys to see is when we pour these together, how they mix together. All right. So if we could zoom in here and see how this is going to mix. You'll see that the oil is going to go down into the water and instantly float up towards the top and they separate. So the only reason we're using oil is because the effects are a little quicker and you can see it happen. Um, if we were using fresh water, this would happen, but we would have probably a 30 minute long video. Um, this is also what causes some of our storms of hurricanes and things like that. So when we have really, really hot water that evaporates quickly. The water evaporates off and the cold water stays behind and we get hurricanes as the earth spins. Um, and if you remember from back in the day, that is a Coriolis effect. Um, this also causes a, a current in here. So as the warm water rises and comes to the top or the fresh water rises and comes to the top, uh, we get what's called a convection current in here. This happens in our, our air as well. Think about that as far as how wind is created. A simple concept, guys. Hot air goes and cold air goes. So the same thing, um, not just fresh water and salt water. Hot water is going to rise, cold water is going to sink. Hot rock that's melted is going to rise, cooler rock is going to sink. All the same thing. We're still talking about convection currents. So if you can see, the reason we're using this oil is it separates really, really, really well. Um, oil is much, much, much less dense than, say, the actual salt water that is in there. So you guys can see how this takes place and creates that convection current. Um, so hopefully, as you, if you watch this entire video, you should be able to answer your five questions. Um, that is the difference between these two processes.